All right, this is a demonstration of the inventory counting or reconciliation process, uh, doing basically an inventory count. So if we go into the inventory module and inventory transactions, inventory tracking, and inventory posting, this is what we're going to go into. So we select this. The first tab is opening balances, but we're going to use the inventory tracking and then the inventory posting. Inventory tracking tracking you can select the item codes uh, that you want to select or uh, the vendor they're from which warehouse properties uh, groups I'm going to select all of these and so this is what it comes up right here so you can sort by the columns by description if you're sorted by this column you can put an item code in here uh, you have the ability to hide what is in stock or show what is in stock if you uh, print this out, whether this is selected or not will determine if it is quantity in stock is going to uh, print. So you can have one of these print without this, uh, give it to somebody to go and count these items so they, they count them and come back in here and you you know put the uh, item in. So say we found that it was only $7.99 of these, 66 of those. And all right, so I have three items that I, I counted. I'm going to hit update. Then I'm going to go back to the original here. Now I'm going to go to inventory posting. So the first tab is where you would put in your counts that you actually had. This is where it would make the adjustments. I go ahead and hit OK, and it brings up this screen here. So first off at the top, we have the uh, GL accounts that it's going to be uh, hitting. If it's going to be uh, an increase, you can have one GL account. If it's de decreasing, you can have another. Uh, you can put in the day reference, more details. And this is the cost right here of what's, and here's the difference. Here was what's in the warehouse. This is what was counted, the difference, and then what is going to be written off. And this is the account that they're going to be written off to. Here's your generic, but if you end up wanting to change to a different account, you could select a different account, you know, than, uh, than the other ones. I'll just put the 523, okay? Once, uh, and this is distribution and projects also. But all you have to do is hit reconcile. Let me do a look at journal entry preview here. Uh, these are serialized numbers, so I'll say that the one that is missing is this update. All right, so the journal entry preview, it's going to uh, report, it's going to credit our inventory and then report it to uh, loss. To finish it up, we just hit reconcile, hit yes, and it does that posting for us. That's it for uh, reconciling inventory.